hello and in case you ever plan to visit Kenya or you are actually in Kenya one of the most interesting things you can do is to go down to Mombasa you'll definitely be assured of the sun the sand and the winds well on my trip on my two weeks holidays I'll be doing a four days uh, visit to Mombasa I'm actually going down by flight so on this session I'll be showing you what it takes to fly from Nairobi to Mombasa So uh, I decided to take a taxi to the airport. There are many ways you can actually get there if you're planning to go to JKA from uh, Nairobi. But one caution is you always have to be aware of the heavy traffic uh, because they're uh, constructing the express highway, which is uh, causing all the mess. And they expect it to be done in about uh, I think one year or something like that or even early so that's good when it's done they'll be very okay with, with the traffic but at the moment you have to be prepared for that you always have to remember to come from home a little bit early if it's uh, two hours put an hour over and just get there in, in good time otherwise uh, we're going to, it's going to take uh, we think about uh, two hours to the airport the taxi from the city down to the to the airport is about uh, 1,000 Kenya, 1,200 Kenya shillings. This is my friend, so he knows me. He gives me a good price. Otherwise, there are also other alternatives like Uber, private, or you can use your friends. So this is the checkpoint at the, when you're coming into JKA Airport, where they require all the passengers to come out and then you get into your car after you've gone through a check. So we do have uh, three units on uh, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport whereby the one unit is basically takes care of international flights and arrivals. The other unit is more flights that travel within the African continent. And then the third unit usually is to do with the, the local flights. So that's where we're going to the local flights units. The drop point, the drop, the drop off point is one, which uh, caters for all these uh, passengers. Maybe in future they'll, they may have something else, but because they've been constructing, uh, constructing or renovating or not, so maybe it's something to work on. But at the moment, the drop off is just one point, but they're not far from each other, so it's it's easy to locate where you uh, which unit you're going to so anyway this behind me is terminal 3 and we thought that's where our flight is but apparently here they only have uh, kq and jumbo jet so we have some other flight called ebay which we booked online but they've told us we have to go to uh, terminal 2 which is a local flight, but then it operates where the other African continent flights operate. So we are waiting for the bus. They have a bus which goes there and it uh, every 10 minutes. So it's on the way coming.
So anyway, we finally have uh, booked in or uh, checked in, uh, and uh, we're just waiting to go into the flight. And uh, before that, we thought a uh, coffee latte is going to work. So anyway guys, um, yeah, you saw the turbulence was a lot. I think we had about 200 meters drop within seconds and we're finally on the ground. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being with us. Please do subscribe, do give us a like and until next time, bye bye.